second most consumed material in the world after water. Concrete emissions equate to around 8% of our global CO2 emissions. For every person on the planet, 1.3 tonnes of concrete is produced each year. It's a construction beast, and as a civilization, we are addicted to concrete. Now, that's not a bad thing, apart from those huge emissions I mentioned earlier. Concrete is a great building material for its thermal insulation, longevity, and versatility. Don't get me wrong, as a doctor of concrete, I love the stuff, but we need to change what we use to make it and how we produce it. This is where our solution comes in. Material evolution is changing how we make cement by using geopolymer technology. Geopolymers are inorganic polymers that rely on their unique 3D nanostructure for the creation of ultra high performance cements. Our product uses these unique characteristics to eliminate the needs for cement in any concrete mix. It's made from 95% waste and uses our algorithm technology. This allows us to create concrete that is 10 times stronger, five times more durable and three times more fire resistant reducing carbon consumption by 85%. But most importantly, it's economically viable. We are a 100% replacement for traditional cement, creating concrete that is more efficient at holding our buildings together. We are replacing the limestone and clay from traditional cements to the waste of the metal and mining industry. We require no heat to activate our material and are using a dry grinding process to produce geopolymers that are not only better in mechanical properties, but are more sustainable for the environment and can be used in industry exactly the same way as traditional cements. So why isn't everyone using geopolymers? So geopolymers have a bit of a bad rep and have had three key issues in their scaling. Firstly, it's cost. Up until now, these alkali activating materials for this technology has been really expensive and we all know that cost is king in this commodities industry. Two is supply. Limited number of materials were available that could be used to make geopolymers, and it definitely was not enough to compete with the scale of ordinary Portland cement. We are now able to access a whole range of materials that combined can replace the use of traditional cement globally. The third is consistency. Inconsistencies in these waste materials has made it really hard to scale as repeatability cannot be ensured with each batch. We're using data and machine learning algorithms to understand and scale waste better than anyone else on the planet. We've developed a one part just add water geopolymer mix that requires no retooling and can fit seamlessly into the industry's existing infrastructure. Overcoming these hurdles changes the way geopolymers are viewed and will allow them to scale globally. Geopolymers allow us to keep using the concrete we love and without it costing us our planet. Material evolution, making simply better concrete.